you'll just, if you three slides, swipe to the um, back here. You can see the live camera if you want to get the camera set up. We are streaming. Hey, everybody. We are live in Mexico, and we're going to teach little and Whale and Black stories, and we're going to play between two and four rounds of this. If you have questions, feel free to hop into the chat. If you've donated more than $25, they will both answer your questions about our trip to Mexico or here in Cabo, or about the games we're playing, or what we're doing, or whatever you want to ask. Uh, so, Waylon and Layla, it's been a long time since you've played this, so I'm going to first kind of go through how this works. Black stories are tricky, morbid, morbid macabre mystery stories. They could have actually taken place as described, or almost. Uh, Sometimes you can solve them really quickly just by asking two or three questions, uh, and you'll be on the right track, and you'll be able to crack the case and figure out what happened. Other times they can really throw you for a loop. So here's how it works. You're trying to solve the mystery or the riddle together. I'll be the riddle master of the first game, and then we'll switch off. I'll take a card from the stack, and I'll read a story out loud to all of you, and I'll ask you, guess why? Okay. Blank. It's not a real That's a real question. Guess what? So the solution, which I'll know, is on the back of the card. I can answer questions by you, but the questions must be formulated so that I can either say yes or no. Okay. Uh, with patience, you should be able to figure it out. Uh, however, it happens that players end up groping in the dark. So if you ask me a question, that can't be answered by a yes or no question. So if you say was the man big or little? I have to say, reword that question. So how would you ask that question so I can answer it with a yes? Or was he big? Right. Perfect. And then next. Was he little? Yeah. Uh, so you might ask questions that permit no simple yes or no answer because it would lead to a false assumption. For example, if you said, was the man tall? When the story isn't about a man at all, but an animal, in that case, I must inform you that the question is based on a false assumption, right? So you're assuming the person maybe was murdered by a man, and you say, was the man tall? And I can say, mm, you're, think you're assuming the wrong things. You're, you're going down the wrong track altogether. Or you might ask a question that just puts the whole thing on the wrong track. So maybe you say, had the man previously been to church? Well, if that's completely irrelevant, it's a red herring. So if I say yes, and then you all start talking about church when that's not even part of the story, I'm intentionally kind of letting you go. Um, so it's my choice, the riddle master's choice, and this sort of gets a little tricky, in that I have to decide, do I want to let you kind of stumble around in the dark for a bit, or do I just want to say, your question's just not relevant, okay? So it's my choice, and that's kind of the tricky part of being the riddle master. I don't just want to tell you the answer, be super easy on you, but I don't want to be too hard either. Um, it says the real master, who's going to be here first, is always right. This is super important if the players think the, think the story could have happened differently. The solution on the card is the solution you're trying to get. Right? Because I might read it and you might be like, well, it could have been this or this. It doesn't matter. The solution is the solution. No argument about it. So, are you ready? Ready. For a black story called The Exotic Restaurant. A girl goes into a restaurant that serves exotic meat and orders an iguana steak. After taking one bite, she runs out and throws herself in front of a passing truck. That is dark. So now give me a second, I'm going to read the rest. This is very dark. Okay, uh, so you can ask questions. This is horribly dark. If you're listening and you are under 18, this is horribly <laughs> dark. So maybe you want to check in with your parents. Since your parents aren't here, we'll just go ahead. <laughs> okay. What did she do? She threw herself. A girl goes into a restaurant that serves exotic meat, and she orders an iguana steak. After taking one bite, she runs out and throws herself in front of a passing truck. 
So now you need to ask yes or no questions to try and get to the solution. And I'm just going to show you, don't, don't try and read this, but to give you an idea of like the link, this is the whole solution, right? Oh my so it's gosh. not just a little thing. There's a whole story that's going on here. You're trying wait, to figure wait, out. You have to say a word no, no, no. Word you just word? need to get the gist of it. You need okay. to get the gist. Okay. And you she got die? It. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to ask. Yes. Okay. I mean, it's irrelevant. I'm going to go we'll straight. Yes. Was there something in the meat? Can't. No. Oh, yeah. No. What she ordered and what she ate was iguana. Yes. Was was it, was it no drink? Was it her, irrelevant? Was, was the iguana her pet? No, no. Is she an animal rights activist? No. Is she a vegetarian? No. She ordered the iguana. Was the truck she sat in front of specific? No. And think outside the box. Try and think about, hey, how can I crack this nut? What is this really about, right? So don't hesitate to ask questions. That'll widen your scope. Was it actually this, was it the steak that made her run out? Right. Ooh, nice. Yes, I'm going to say yes. You might come back to this with some other stuff, but yes. So she took a bite and yes. But you you might even ask more questions along that line. So see how as I'm, I'm the story master, I'm kind of trying to help things along a little bit, right? Focus on anyone that gets this too early. Okay. The name of the restaurant? No. Okay. What? Does it have anything? It, just remember, it, she knew what she was getting into, right? She went into a restaurant that serves exotic food. So. Did she purposely run go out of the truck? Yes. Oh. Did she do it for revenge? No. Did she do it out of hate? Right. I don't know if hate's the right word. I don't know. Did she know the restaurant owner? No. I mean, you're wrong. She may have. She did die. Irrelevant. Has she had Iguana before? No. Ooh. But a good line of questions. Was it? Both of you two have asked very good questions that could do with some further. Was the steak cooked raw? Was she forced to order anything? No. No. Did she talk to anyone? Before? before running out? Mm -hmm. No. I mean, you're wrong. Well, before? You know, like, well, she had top to order the water. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. She might have, it's irrelevant. She may have been there with other people or not. It didn't matter. Well, I bet you think that. I was just trying to think if there was any relevance to it. Important that I don't answer in a way that misleads. Where me. was the restaurant? Is Where that yes or no? That is um, not too important. Why did she order it for the first time anyway? Try something new? Mm -hmm. You're 
kind of making a false assumption. I'm making a false assessment that she had never eaten it before, but she'd ordered it before? Yes. She had ordered it before. Not quite ordered. She knew she ordered it one. Yeah, she knew she ordered it one. I'm not saying she didn't know. Yeah. But like, why would you order it if she didn't want to? Something. There was nothing in the iguana. Nothing cooked at all. Yeah, I know, I know that. I'm just not good. Yeah. I don't know what my false assumption is. They said she'd never had it before. That, I think, false assumption was that it was that because Waylon said um, to she would order to try something new and you said no maybe that is a no if you said did she order to try something new the answer is no and I had a feeling uh, it was not for us so there's nothing to do because of does it did it have to do with taste yes Is she human? Yes. <laughs> Did it taste and push the cannibal? It tastes like a person? No. <laughs> Did he have uh it had to do with taste and not effect on her. Definitely taste, yes. Not not effect. Like taste, not texture. We're gonna go with taste or texture or both. Could be one bite. One bite. Yes. Was there too much fat? Irrelevant. Okay. One bite of something made you kill yourself. Yeah. Why would that exist? Why wouldn't yeah. you just spit it out? Ask questions about that, maybe. Uh, Did she spit it out? No. She swallowed it. Yes. She, I mean, I'm assuming. Is that kind of irrelevant? This last question is not irrelevant. Okay. So you're going with she did swallow it? Yeah, I'm going to see it. She chewed it? That's a Okay, but, I mean, yes, say, yes, she chewed it. Did she, did she choke on it? No. Like, was no. she panicking? No. no. But wait, so, so she consciously ran out of the tape. Yes. yes. <laughs> Had to do with taste. And your texture. The whole, whole shebang. along those lines. We had channel and we were fine. Okay. What, so formulate a question. What did it um no, no, no. no but you can make a yes or no question on what you were just saying. Uh, so what does it taste like? How would you turn that into like a yes Did or it no? taste good or not? Unknown? But So it had something to do with the taste. Did she? 
There was nothing in it. Did she think she tasted something bad, so she didn't want to go through the effects of whatever? No, no, no. Okay. You're right on the edge of what's up. So. We can put this one on pause and Linda can start talking if we want. Should we give our brains a break from this one? Do you want the top card, Layla? We're giving our brains a break from that particular one. Wait, so, so do you want to read the back first and then or read the front? Go ahead and read the front one. Which is which one? It should have the title on the front of the story. Okay. It's terminal taxi. Tim gets into a taxi when a driver opens the door for him at the train station. Tim falls out of the vehicle dead. Oh. Well, Lily read it, then she can read it to us once more. Was it just? Oh, what? Oh. She doesn't know anything yet. She's, she oh, has okay. to read the story. Lily's reading. Okay. Okay. Well, Tim gets into a taxi when the driver opens the door for him at the train station to pull out of the vehicle. Then. Was it an accident? Yes. Was Tim trying to go to a hospital? No. Was there anything in the car with like another person? Was there another person in the car? Other than the driver. Along that line. Okay. Keep going. Was there anything else? Like, was there like. Was there a like a poisonous gun? or venomous creature in the vehicle with it? Ooh, snake? Was it a spider? Yes. Was the spider in its luggage? Did the spider just crawl up to bite him? Did the taxi driver have the spider in the vehicle? Yes. It was did an accidental spider. But did Tim own the spider? No. Well, did another person in the vehicle own the spider? Was he killed on purpose? What was he murdered? No. No. Did Tim have a companion in the car with him? No. So how how old is Tim? Can't ask that. So, that's how you answer oh. Did Tim know there was a spider in the taxi? Did the taxi driver know there was a spider in the taxi? Well, I don't know. But probably irrelevant. No, because no. Did so, any human being that we know know there was a spider in the taxi? Possibly. So was he picking him up at the train station or dropping him off at the train station? Dropping him off. And he wasn't killed. So nobody put the spider in there. Is his destination on the train important? No. Is where he came from important? Was this accidental? Yes, she said. Well, what more could that could there be to that? There's still something else. Did the spider belong to the person who was in the taxi before him? Yes. And it was in the taxi accidentally. Was it a black widow? Does the type of spider matter? <laughs> No, it doesn't. Okay. Well, is there, there's still a piece there's of There's relevance to no. who well, owns the spider? No. Well, well I think you guys bought it. Yeah. So some, 
Let me lay out a what we have. Passenger. A previous passenger, for whatever reason, had a poisonous spider or spiders on in the taxi. He left one of the spiders in the taxi when he got out. Tim got in to go to the train station, got bit by the spider, died when on the train. Nothing else. Oh, no. A spider who I had forgot his extremely venomous spider in the taxi. Tim, who happened to be the next passenger, panicked when he got by the creature and immediately bit. Yay! No big deal. See? It's just phenomenal. <laughs> Here's your card. Is The murdered mayor. Spelled mayor, M A R E? M A Y O R. Okay. What's mayor? Like the mayor oh, of the mayor, city. Mayor, mayor. A priest is giving a farewell speech. Towards the end of the speech, the mayor arrives to add a word of thanks, but is shot dead before he finishes speaking. Okay. Um, do it sound like an encyclopedia? Did the priest shoot the mayor? No. Someone in the crowd? Yes. Random person? No. Did the priest know the mayor was going to be shot? No. Uh, did anyone know that the mayor was going to die? So he was shot, I don't guess. I think the time portion is relevant, but... Was the mayor the intended target? Yes. Is the... Was it an enemy of the mayor? Was it out of uh, revenge? Yes, yes. Well, yes. well, enemy, I would say yes. Kind of, yes. Yeah. And it's revenge, yes. I wish I could ask what the Wait, that what's the question? What the mayor did? Like, did what did the mayor do? I don't That's probably what we need to figure out, or part of it at least. But see, what's the. Did the mayor. place a law making this person not be executed? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Is the mayor's relationship with the priest relevant? Mm -hmm. Is the priest having to retire because of the mayor's mayor? No. I think it's unrelated. It was a priest retirement curse. Farewell speech. Is the priest retiring? I assume so. Okay. It's a farewell speech. I don't. He's leaving wherever they are. She's going on church next. Yeah, but it's next. Oh, oh, nobody. Um, <laughs> Nobody's watching right now. The priest is doing a farewell speech. Mm -hmm. Something to do with the priest and mayor's relationship. Is it related did, did, did. to a confession somebody made to the priest? Yes. Wait, the person like 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 the priest or whatever. Was the mayor the person who made the confession to the priest? Yes. Is another priest the suspect? No. Okay, so the mayor confessed something to the priest who's retiring. We're gonna say. Did the priest, did the priest tell the priest? Yes. Did the priest tell someone to shoot the mayor? Uh, no. no. Well, no, no, no. Did the well, priest did the tell priest... someone about the confession? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was going to ask. Is the man's it... wife the suspect? Okay. Unknown? Unknown. 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 Was the confession related to the prayer of the suspect? Uh, is the confession related to the, the person, person who shot him? him? The confession is related. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is really irrelevant, but did the person go to jail? It's unknown. Is Whoa. the suspect a female? That is unknown. Okay, so that's it. All right. Then. Made a confession to somebody. The priest is retired. 
the the priest know that the suspect would seek out revenge? Oh, because of the connection. Maybe we already asked that. I don't think, I don't yeah, know. I don't think the priest is at fault. That's why I'm saying no. Right. The priest didn't have any preconceived notions, is what I'm saying, about... Did the priest accidentally tell somebody about some type of revenge? That's along the lines of where you want to go, but... Right. Did the priest intentionally share the man's confession? Yes. Was the priest... That's normally really improper. <laughs> Was the priest sharing the confession extremely improperly? Was there any legitimate reason the priest should have shared the confession? That's kind of what I'm asking. I don't know. I okay. don't know the okay. code of rules of priests. Like, what I'm trying to say is, if we anonymously say something about a case at work, we're not naming names, but is it illegal for us to do that? Was the profession of the assassin relevant? Is the no. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the first thing doesn't really matter, just why they shot him. Did the mayor commit a crime that he confessed? Yes. Okay. Is the specific crime relevant? Yes. Is it related to the, the person who shot him? Yes. Is the mayor a murderer? Yes. Is of the, of the per, of the shooter's wife or husband, unknown oh, but relevant. So the mayor confessed to killing the relative of somebody to the priest. The priest told somebody, and at the priest going away party, that person shot the mayor. Yes. The Is there other stuff we need to figure no, out? No, I mean that's basically it. In his speech, the priest remembered the peculiar murder that had occurred on the, his first day in the parish and said that the very first confession he heard that day was from the murderer. The mayor missed the first part of the speech and reported that he was the first to enter the new priest's confessional. The mayor, having thus betrayed himself, was shot dead by a relative of the murder victim. That's pretty good. Pay attention, maybe when you're public speaking. Yeah. Right. That was pretty good, guys. Do y'all want to come back to mine or have Will and start on his? Yeah. Do we have a few more? We'll come okay. back to yours. Well, you got the other two pretty fast. I know. Okay, the taste. Oh my god. The taste. Why would the taste of iguana make you, make you die. want to kill yourself? That's what I want to know. Does it make sense to you? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Yes. Like the answer? I mean, yes. Like, would would you do that? Right. I. Me personally, no, it's, no. I personally she wouldn't, any, but I- Is the woman's profession problem. relevant? No. She didn't have I any. can understand the woman's decision, even though I personally wouldn't make the same decision. To go kill yourself? I wouldn't do that, but- You understand why she did? Yes. The taste. The taste of something. Just don't eat it anymore. I don't understand that. Just stop eating it. It wasn't tainted. No, but y'all are circling a very important question. What are you circling? Do it taste like something else? That's how we already asked that. No. I actually like it, but it wasn't. It tasted like iguana. Iguana is what she ordered. Iguana is what she ate. Yes. So literally, was it just the taste just of iguana? Ask question. Was it literally just the taste of iguana that made you do that? That's what I yes. can't get. So, like, why was there two tastes? Was it just like so disgusting? Like, no, don't want to taste it anymore. No. no. So think about that. Okay, so so think about it. You ordered something, you tasted it, it 
taste it like it should. Why are you so very upset? I was putting them. Was there a visual factor? No. Just pain. Who ordered it? It tasted like it should. It tastes just like chicken. Have you ever had iguana? No. In Puerto Rico, they give you things. They call it chiguana because they, they lie. They say it's iguana, it's but it's actually chicken. Uh, well, they so they get, they get more money out of you. Because is she chiguana. in a society where iguana is regular food to me? No, no, no. This is exotic in the place she is. Yes. Was she where? Oh, no. And it was was it random that she ordered it? No. Okay. That Did she go there just specifically for iguana? I'm gonna say yes. Yes. Hmm. Was she alone there? I know. So technically, she didn't pick up the menu or anything. She just like ordered iguana from the spot. She probably picked up the menu, but she knew this place served iguana, exotic animals, served iguana when she went in. She went in. She knew. I'm ordering it one. Was she going to commit suicide either way? No. Mm. And at the end, I don't know, I can't tell if it's going to be one of those things where you're just like, uh, no. no, it's not going to be one of those. Once you get past this one little hump, you'll work out. The taste was not bad to her. No. Ooh. It tasted good. Oh my god. Literally, um, like, no. Is well, one bite relevant? Yeah. Is, well, I liked the taste. Oh, because right. cause the taste was really good. No. 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 Go on and finish your thought. And there was only one bite. <laughs> but she couldn't still, afford to eat it. No. But she purposely went back. Was it, is the cost relevant? No. Taste, taste. You had a line of questioning super early that I said was very relevant. Well, I don't remember what it I was said. about, you said, did she ever have it before? order a guana before? And I said, no, but the line of questioning did she ever order a gone before? No. Had she wanted to order it before? Unknown. You like it. I just don't understand. Had she wanted to eat it before today? Can you ask I'm going to say yes. She wanted to eat it before today. Well, because she was planning. No? I'm going with order it. Say that. Does she have any connection to the animal itself? Yeah. Yeah. The group of animals, iguana. Well, is, is the specific shop or no. restaurant no. relevant? Could she get it other places? Yes. I think going to your question, just because I think if you take the word order out of it, she ever wanted one before? Yes. Well, wait, what was the, what, what, what was the thing? I said, you said, had she ever ordered it before? Had she ever blamed it before? Done what? Right, I'm trying to think of what the right Hunt? word would be. No. Uh, Capture? Grab? Help? If I made the guana suck a hash at home and gave it to you, you wouldn't say you were, right? And I'm not saying Even I'm, I'm, this is just like an example. It's not. It? Did she ever been given the iguana before? Had she cooked it before herself? No. Had, she, had someone been, in her house cooked it before? No. Had someone given it to her? Had someone in her house 
take out how stuff is just my example. But you just ask the question, just don't say how don't put if any. Someone she knew. She had had an opportunity to eat it before. Just like for whiskey. No. Did someone, did someone she know, were they like thinking it and they said they died? No. Well, well then why would she eat it? Well, she couldn't eat it because she was about to eat it. I don't know. Hmm, why is this so convoluted? It's Remember some important fact. She's never had a guana before in her life. She wanted to eat it. She really wanted it. She and got she it. She never like ordered it. a guana. But, but she was given a guana by the people for free. Did she ask someone for it before? The DK? Yes, I'm gonna say yes to that. She asked someone for it before but never okay. got it. And nobody yes. didn't do anything to the iguana. She liked the taste. That's, that's the thing. If you like the taste, why? Right. You would you would finish the steak at least. <laughs> why would you only have one bite of something you liked? <laughs> and then you, you loved it. So, so you take it, you like, oh my god, it's so good, you run out in front of a truck. I don't get it. Was she running out in front that's of like, that's like purpose me. or accident? On purpose. 100%. That's me. Oh she was so excited she ran no. out in front. Did eating it make her depressed? Yes. What? That's where I was going with the person. It was good, but it made her depressed. Yes. Was there a connection to it and yeah, someone, someone in her family or she knew that died? No. No. It just not it didn't died. Somehow just Make it make her no, 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 no. eating iguana made her depressed, but it was tasty. Sure. Did it remind her of a person? No. Does it have anything to do with like a person? Um, another person. Yeah. I think your question is really vague, so it's hard. I mean, other, there are other people involved involved, involved in. The whole but the restaurant, restaurant owner prepared not, is not yeah, that no. person. It's someone in her life that's relevant. Yeah. To the iguana? Not at this very moment, maybe, but somebody at some point in your life is, is, in, there is relevant to the story. Some but it doesn't important. have to do with another person dying. And how old is she? Oh, exactly. yeah. I thought you said it didn't have to do with someone else dying. We're not from eating iguana. Did she someone else, else that she did knew? Some, yes. Did someone else that she knew like love iguanas and then they died or something weird like that? No. That but no to the other. If the question was just, does the reason for her this whole thing have something to do with? Another person or people who died, yes. yes, it does. Okay. But with no other limits on it. No. Was, was the where person she is from relevant? No. Was the person was the person in her family? Irrelevant. Is it a cult? No. The people who died had some connection to Iguana? No. But this is, it's, it's almost getting, it's a weird, they are important, but the answer to that is no. It's not a bad line of question. Was their death accidental? Yes. Did it have to do with the blood? No. <laughs> Did they all die at the same time? Yes. Wait, a, a number of people? Yes. Ten people? Uh... Died at the same time, and then Wait, what? That's what continued. Yeah, what your question? Like ten people died. A large amount of a people. A large amount of people. I will say yes to. I don't know the number. And something had to do with iguana with that. Their death, you mean? Yes. yes. 
No. Did she find out that people died while she was eating it? Oh. No. Oh. no. That was her dad's Well, n no. She no, she knew people had died before she hit people. Mm -hmm. Was she praying to Putin at suicide before she ate it? No. So think about this new whole piece of information here. It was it accidental. Was people accidentally died. Yes. That she knew. Yes. We're going to say. Well, well she, she knew at least one some, person. She knew at least, yeah, she, she knew probably one or more. But she maybe didn't know some others. It's kind of irrelevant. Was it a ship sinking? Yes. What? Wait, that was just really random. Yeah, a I ship did. sinking. I, I, I just look at that big hotel over there. And <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sure, I guess. Uh, so did the ship sink? Yes. Was it shot down? Uh, irrelevant, really but probably not. So a group of people in a ship drowned. Yes. She knew some of them, one or more. Probably. And That's, so it's really irrelevant if she knew them or not, but we'll say yes. Is their death related to her choice to eat iguana? That's very convoluted, but I, let's just table the question for now, because it's too, it's, I guess, yes, but wait, wait, what was there's the a few steps, was there, Would yes? she have eaten iguana if they hadn't died? Mm. No, I, no. Yeah. But then, so if she didn't eat it, she wouldn't have gotten depressed. Yes. No. Oh. Yeah. Yes. That's interesting. So well, did, like, did, did it sink in like a jungle or like you know or wherever? Iguanas live. I'm gonna say yes. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Was the last was thing the person she knew said to her about? Was iguanas? it like the yeah? The last. No. Not, no. No. Did the ship going down have anything to do with sourcing iguanas? No. no. <laughs> really close though. Uh, it has to do with the iguana though, right? There has to be a connection to the depths of the iguana. Yeah. So what was the important thing? We talked about what the important thing about the iguana was. Ordering it? No. Not ordering it. No. That it tasted good. The taste. Taste and the texture. Took a bite of iguana, tasted it, and then immediately. Which did swallow. Yeah. Next to the open cell. Do you need me to open that? No. I can. I'm saying I can physically open that. It tasted good, and it got her depressed. Yes, yes. Um, it did have to do with. So it did have to do with iguanas. Like her leaving to go to eat it, or well, did she literally just go and eat it? She wouldn't have eaten it if they hadn't died. Oh yeah, and they died. Their death had to do with something else, not because they died. No, no, they died on a shipwreck. Well, yeah, in a place. In a place oh, where it was a shipwreck. Yes. Yeah. They died on a shipwreck. Well, the ship, ship sunk. sunk. The ship it sunk. It wrecked. It sunk. In, yeah, shipwreck. We're gonna call it. Just like. Just whatever they just How it, so they, they maybe died. Maybe it was shot by a missile, but I'm saying unlikely. Ran into a rock, whatever. Ship went down. Got shot down. In a Got place down. where iguanas. Oh. Did we have did that established? Did the fact that it tasted, did the fact that it tasted good make her sad because the people wanted to eat it? No. no. And they never got to try. I don't think you said. I don't think we said that they were where iguanas are. Yes. Yeah, I asked. Uh, mm -hmm. She said, did the ship go down on a place where iguanas are? Do iguanas eat people? I don't know. Is she eating an iguana that ship ate like? her friend? <laughs> <laughs> it's a ship. And she's like, my friend tastes delicious, <laughs> but I'm super sad right now. Did the ship relevant to yeah. anything? Yes. Well, well yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, to the iguana. Specifically, shipwreck relevant to the iguana. 
Like, uh, it wasn't a Godzilla if one I <laughs> out the shelf. It's not. I just don't even think this one makes any sense. Hey, the answer is like, shh. Yeah, but I know. You're, you have everything but a little part of the answer. You're right there. Where the ship went down is not relevant. Beyond the fact that you want to go there. Where iguanas would be. So, we've got Does she have a religious or belief system that is relevant? No. Did something just randomly. Like, what triggered it? No more. Can't say like why. Did something just like trigger her brain because of the deaths? Or that made her chest? But was it? No, it was the taste. It was the taste that made it. Hmm. So the so it was good. The taste so was good, fun. so that makes made her depressed. Are we assuming the taste was good? Yeah. I, it was the taste that made her depressed. It wasn't the fact that it tasted good. Are we assuming the taste was good or bad for her? Yes, we're assuming that it tasted like it, was okay. it tasted like normal iguana should taste. Whether she liked it or not is irrelevant. Okay, that we are over focused on good then. Yes. You didn't really correct us on that. Sorry. It's it's irrelevant. Did he? I didn't hear him. I didn't either. I, we kept saying like, it was you, tasty. you talked a lot about like does it, did it taste like Poison answer. It, yeah. it tasted like normal iguana. But whether she liked it or whether she didn't is irrelevant. I thought you said it she said I thought you said Yeah, it's not about whether or not she liked it. Okay. But there's a I different was question. That you meant, yeah. There's a different question there about it that is important. There's a different question about the taste that's important. Was it a cruise ship or a it was a yeah, different well, so question could've. about the taste. I feel like you just go all doubt on it, yeah, to be honest. I know, but you're so close. Otherwise, I would have paused it again. But you're right there. Did she have a violent reaction to the taste? Physically or? Yeah. No. Mentally? But mentally. Yes. Okay, yeah, because of the shipwrecks. People have died. Don't make assumptions on that. But, um, yeah. Did but, she know the ship went down where iguanas were? Oh, yeah. Did Was, was it just like the place was just iguanas? What? Yeah. Or was there other. Yeah. Oh, what water. Are there animals in the water? It was a place where there was extremely limited food options and that's what you're interested Everybody in. ate iguanas there? No. Just the person she knew ate iguanas there. No. Nobody on the ship ate iguanas. And they have to start yes. after their craft. Wait, somebody did. Did some of them survive the shipwreck? Yes. <gasps> she survived the shipwreck. Yes. And that made her think. No. Oh, she was, like, she was on the ship with a group of people. Yes. Did she eat people? Yes. What? I and she was like, I eyes. wouldn't have had to eat people. I should have eaten iguanas no. because it's delicious. No, but you didn't. Oh, that's She true. was uh, Wait. shipwrecked on an island. You said this. I said this to the ass to be the cannibal. Yeah, you got something else. She was shipwrecked on an island, and people fed her iguana. And that's how she survived, but then, years later, she's like, I'm going to go eat some iguana to celebrate surviving my shipwreck. And she's like, I didn't ever eat iguana. I ate people. I ate the people who died on the ship. Wait, how did she know that she had been, wait, so can you actually read that? Yeah. The girl, well, I'll wait for Michelle. Why don't you read this one? Wait, so we're going to well, wait for Michelle. So now she's in the back. Sure. Oh boy. 
All right, it's still enough me to read the whole card. The girl had been shipwrecked and washed ashore on an island. She had been badly injured, and the other survivors gave her water and meat. Whenever she asked where all the meat was coming from, they told her that they had killed two large iguanas. When the castaways were finally rescued, all the agony was forgotten until the day the girl went to the exotic restaurant for another taste of iguana, her lightsaber. After just one bite, she realized that the meat she had eaten on the island had not been iguana meat, but the flesh of the corpses that had been washed. That before. is foul. That is really gross. It's I can't hard. believe we ever got to that. that. It was really hard. You were, oh, you said, like, right away, so, yeah, like, about was she meat. eating human meat and not iguana? No, 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 she, she, like, wait, I, I asked her, said, did, did, did you, 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 did no, I wasn't. Yeah, she was the opposite. So she realized yeah. I said she was really the iguanas eating. eating her friends, and then she ate the iguanas, and she's like, But like, I was waiting for you to because it was hard, because the question was, did it taste differently than she expected? Would have helped a little bit. Was she on the ship, which we came to later, was helpful, but it, it was super complicated. That was okay. crazy. Wow. All right, you got the gist of how to help us get there, but not okay. the distraught driver. Right. Yeah, it means you're really upset. Okay, the distraught driver. A man climbs out of a large vehicle and takes his own life. There you go. That's the whole story, right? Okay. A large vehicle, you said? He climbs out of a large vehicle and he takes his own life. Was the vehicle a semi truck? Okay, I have to go back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's like, I don't know. <laughs>
You mean like internal medical? Yeah. Work? No. It was an accident. Yes. Is where he died relevant? Yes. In the bathroom? No. It, this is what I imagined right when you said that. In the hallway of like a hotel or something, like just lying there and someone got out of the other room and went. No. Was he in the bedroom? No. Nope. A changing room? No. Living room? No. In House. his own residence? No. No. Hotel? Street? No. Uh, oh. Where'd you say? Street. No. Where he no. is is relevant. Yes. Well, Where he's know. located is relevant. Where he is found deceased is relevant. But it was an accidental death. Yes. And not medical. Yes. This is a good one. Accidental death. And you're going to be. And was, there, was it related to an animal? No. What, who was the murderer? Did the murderer? Was he murdered? No. It was an accident. Yes. Oh. <laughs> does, does trousers undone have to do with anything? Yes. Like? Are the pants themselves important? Meant to go to the bathroom outside? Yes. He did not he didn't fall, right? Not I mean, He was dead before he would have I mean he fall when he died. Why would he be going to the bathroom outside? Did he have a house? He's on something. Not drugs, we mean physically yeah, on something. Physically on something. Um, he's, he's what? Except for the final part. <sighs> is it dark at all? Yes. It's dark. Was there any blood involved? And he's no. in an urban area. Yes. Is he on a bucket? No. But would he be on outside going to the bathroom? Does he think he's a dog? Was no. he using a bottle? No. I don't get it. Yeah, we'll wait for this one fast. Oh. Layla was on a good track. What'd she say? He was going to the bathroom. She's on something. And she said, was he on an electrical box? He was not oh. on an electrical box. Near one? To, oh, behind an electrical box. Behind something? No. Is but, electricity relevant? Yes. Oh, was he electrical? Oh, was he yes. that oh, lightning? No. No. The lightning where what oh, well you want to really really ran something. <laughs> oh, he peed on a fence. Electrical fence? fence? No, but getting close. Did he did he get to go to the bathroom at all? Oh yeah. It was urine. Yes. Yeah, so he peed on something electric and then it like shot him because of a little bit. Did he do it on purpose? Did why no. would he pee on something electricity? Because he was people Because it was dark. And he was on egg. Uh, 
something metal? Maybe. He was yeah, on a... Metal Room? Wait. A little bit closer. Did, was there anyone else around? Around him? Any guard? Is he on something high off the ground? Yes. Oh, did he mean to pee on it? He meant to pee, but not pee on. He didn't pee on the thing he was on. You know what I mean? Did he mean to pee? Did he not, pee off of something? Yes. And he didn't mean to pee on that thing. Right. It wasn't intentional. Right. True. Is it something floating like? No. Okay. Like a treehouse? No. Not in there. Is he, no, his I'm job not. important? No. Is anyone else? What going? would he be high in? In an urban area? Oh, uh, telephone pole. No. That's what it's, it's, some, it's not something that would. Does this Was actually on, make sense? Would on a balcony? No. Could this happen? Yeah, oh yeah. I have peed off of one of these, basically, myself. What? I have no idea now. I have peed off of no. one of these myself. No. Why would you pee off of one of these? I don't know. That's what I don't get. Why would you do peeing of this nature anywhere? I have peed off of one of these before. I don't know. I could have been this man if I hit something with my is he a significant distance up? Yeah, yes. Why would he, what, what's he being on for the game? Did I know you when you did this? Yes. Should I remember this? Yes. Probably. What? <laughs> what? Why are we playing this again? Why y'all don't have this yet? He's outside he in an urban area. Something. Was, was it really connected to the ground? Was it? Was what? Was it what he's on? Yeah, I mean, yes, at some point. He's not just floating. He's on a... Electric? He's not on an electric anymore. No, um, he just he hit something electric. Yes. Outside, in an urban area. Yes. Tree? No. I don't know. Uh, was he on a building? No. What would he walk on or be on normally that is high off the ground? Nothing. No. What? Oh no. What would you pee on that's high off the ground? Well, you're high off the ground, so you're not intentionally peeing on something high off the ground. You're high off the ground first, peeing onto something else. Yeah. We've got to like it too much. So, well, hopefully you're over water or something. Oh, that is that terrible? Um, are you, you're pretty much right. You have a strong idea? How much can you guess what it is? We need on these oh, today. Oh, elevator? A farm? <laughs> Ping up okay. so far. We've been on a farm today. We have it on. We have it A window? No. <laughs> <laughs> we did too far. Carl. Yeah. We drove on. Road. And. Dirt. Highway? <laughs> On hill? I don't know. Oh, you said it was off the ground. <laughs> Bridge. Yes. Oh. Ew. What? Well, that's not necessarily an urban area. He was on a railroad bridge, and he peed down onto a high voltage power line. And it went through his pee to him. Oh yeah. How is that? Where? No, because of I. Everywhere. It could travel. Yeah, they went. Liquid, just like if there's a puddle on the ground and there's an electric line in the puddle. Like is it a continuous liquid? Is that question? question? Yeah. It would be. Yeah. Why well, was he peeing off the bridge though? He's probably bleeding a knife. He when did you do that? Tell me later. I'm telling you on camera. Are we stopping? Yeah, now? just hit stop. Uh, you have to go back to uh, the end of the page and then stop recording. I'm going to write.